just giving you an update on the Capri. Uh, anybody that's been following it, I've owned it for 23 years here. Google it, it's a 1983 Mercury Capri RS50. Uh, this is 2013, September. I'm gonna do a walk around. A lot of videos I often point out what I changed from factory. Uh, I won't do that this time. Other than just the rims, the louvers, and the ground effects. Other than that, and I get a lot of questions about this, is uh, these are all, this is an exact how I was born. Um, so let me do some close-ups. These are the pinstripes. If you look closely, those are exactly how they were made the day the car was born. I had to have these re remade or manufactured at a tape company in Florida. Same with the IRS. It's an exact replica down to the uh, color. Also on the trim, I bought all the trim when I restored the car. We painted the black part, but we taped off the gray in the center. The car came with trying to get a good picture of this with with these gray extruded gray stripes in there so we put a piece of um, tape over them painted in black so they didn't turn that 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 faded color uh, another question I get all the time is this hood scoop this is factory this is the original hood now this hood I went through a lot when my younger years <laughs> When I restored the car, I took it off. It was really beat. Um, and I call it the 100-hour hood because it took 100 man-hours of labor to finish it. It came out nice. I mean, it's, it's, it's perfect, actually. There's not a dent or anything in it. So I think it was worth it in the long run. On the nose, that nose piece, if you go to a Mercury Capri's uh, website it'll give you more information the lower balance goes to a mercury capri it does i uh you can purchase them through mclarion for a few years as a bolt-on this is one of them um, not for mclarion capri you could purchase it through mclarion i found one and uh it was never on a car i found it it was still in the box it was in texas about 18 20 years ago 19 18 years ago I bought it and I had it thermal cut and fit to this car the little lights that you see here <clears throat> those are strobes those are part of an alarm system that I handmade uh, the lower lights obviously are just the fog lights I just went with that because I thought that's what worked at the time another biggie I changed this year the rims for the, all the years I've shown the car, I've kept the factory rims on it. The reason why I did that, I was so fussy about it. After, over after some great time thinking about it. Um, let's see a little, I clean that up. I found this set. They're off an old funny car, the four lugs. They matched the car beautifully. And I put these nice uh, needles on the back. I don't know if this camera can catch how big they are. I'll try. But they're nice. They fit in there. They're, it's pretty tight, but it fits. They look great. Uh, I'm happy that I made that change. Same thing with the rear valance. That's off. This is actually off another Capri. It's a parts car that I bought. Had it uh, fitted to this car. And uh, the 83s came out with the exhaust tail pipes on this side. I converted it. I like the look of it better. The, uh, the license plate. These are part of the alarm, actually. These eyes light up. And if you look closely, you see a camera. That is mounted to the inside of the car so I can see what's going on behind me during the day and night. It's all hooked up to the alarm. Just something I did. Louvers I bought eBay years and years ago. Blasted them, painted them, blasted them, painted them. Never seemed to get the right look. I just stuck them on this year. I said, the heck with it. Um, so I restored the entire car myself. Here's a quick shot of the inside. I didn't even clean it yet. Uh, but you'll see got the correct door skins. The Rally Sport. This is a real Rally Sport. 
That's what it looks like walking around. Now you see these headrests, those are factory. The seats, the upholstery I bought out of a, a, a dealership and I reupholstered the frames. So the frames, the headsets, the buckles and everything are all factory. The seat upholstery was changed. Steering wheel, here's another question I get a lot. I don't know how we can make it out. That's factory and that's what I put on that, it's kept it. Um, a lot of people ask me about that, that's correct. Here's the front mounted camera, day and night, that records. I use that just for uh, when I'm out driving. Over here is the, the backup camera and others that I have everything connected to so I can see. This is um, in the Astra area, that button. You never want to push that button. Let me just tell you, if that button's pushed, you can hear it, this car alarm for quite a while. So, uh, I like to think that for the most part, if you're looking for an accurate car with accurate colors, stripes, etc. Okay, well, the rims, that's the ground effects, and uh, tinted windows I changed. Everything else is right, though. Uh, hopefully, everybody enjoys the video. I spent a lot of time. This is my only hobby other than my family, of course. I've always put the kids first. But I was able to... Have, I've had this car since before I was married. And I uh, raised all my kids and worked on it in my free time, which is very little. I absolutely love the sport of racing it. I ran it in Wagon Dragway this year. I, oh, yeah, you can see. She ran it a couple weeks ago. Those are the numbers they put on. So any questions, shoot me an email. RS5050RS at gmail.com. Thanks. Hope you enjoyed it.